Since the 2008 financial crisis, central banks have been centre stage. The implementation of various monetary policies has had an impact, although its efficacy has been difficult to measure. Is it fair that all eyes were on the central banks to fix the world's problems? The central banks cannot be the only game in town. They need governments, they need parliaments, they need the, the private sector, they need the social partners to step in. Otherwise, they will be totally overburdened, the monetary policy will remain incredibly accommodating, and we will only pave the way for the next difficulties, if not the next big crisis. So that's the main challenge for all central banks in Japan, in I would say in Europe certainly, in the US also. Monetary policy buys time, it brings spending forward, but the heavy lifting in the real economy has to be done by governments and by businesses. Companies have been sitting out on cash, they have been accumulating very high levels of liquidity. Governments have been dealing with budget deficits and consumers uh, in the developed world, in many cases, they have cut back their borrowing and uh, increased uh, their saving. So the only offset to that actually has been central bank activity with the expansion of central bank balance sheets through the quantitative easing programs that we have seen. Although the implementation of monetary policy is not seen as the only solution, many are still concerned over the effectiveness of the central bank's decisions, particularly in regard to negative interest rates. It used to be said that there was a zero lower bound and we've crashed across that zero lower bound into negative interest rates. It seems to have had very little effect on uh, the growth of the economies. It has also brought out the potential negative effect. One of the ways that monetary policy most affects the economy is through the banking system. And if negative interest rates have the effect of weakening the balance sheets of banks, banks are not going to be uh, as able or willing to make loans. This policy may be becoming less effective or becoming actually counterproductive like when a negative policy rate have a damaging effect on the banking system, there is moral hazard, there's a risk of asset inflation, there is a risk of currency wars, there's a risk that eventually this policy will be more counterproductive rather than effective. So with some unsure of what insights the central banks are offering the world, what is the future role of central banks? Well, the first challenge, which is by far the most important, is to convince the other partners, namely the governments, the parliaments, the private sector, the social partners, to step in. Unemployment in America, 4.9%. Same level in the UK. Unemployment in the Eurozone is still elevated close to 11%. And a lot of that difference can be explained by structural failure. That relationship between monetary policy and fiscal policy, and for that matter, other structural measures, uh, is very important. They have now put themselves in a position that to restore monetary policy to a more normal condition will itself post challenges to the global economy.